everybody and thank you again for tuning into my channel. I wanted to just share with you guys just uh, some things that's been going on with me spiritually and I'm sharing because I hope to be able to minister to somebody and maybe uh, have someone who may have gotten off on a path of just working for the Lord and not truly having relationship, uh, spending that intimate time with God and maybe do some soul searching. So this message is not for everyone. It is certainly not for uh, those who are outside of Christ. Uh, this is a message for those who profess to be uh, in the body, who profess to be a uh, child of God. So just to do some soul searching and it's the reason that I'm sharing. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for an opportunity to share with your people, God. Lord, I ask that I would decrease as you increase in me and help me to be able to relay what you would have me to speak in the tone, in uh, the order that you would have me to relay it, God, that it would reach someone to to realize that it's time, it's high time that we draw closer to you, Lord, because we are not going to make it on works alone. Hallelujah. And I thank you, God, for this opportunity and for everyone under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So it came to me that this year God has really been doing uh, performing spiritual surgery on my life. And I want to go back to the beginning of the year. Um, you know, I had purposed in my mind the beginning of this year that I was going to dig deeper into the word of God. It was an area in my life where I felt like I had started lacking and neglecting and not studying, getting deep into the word of God. Then early part of March is when we learned that uh, we were in a pandemic and this whole COVID thing was starting to, to spread. And so during that time, um, I believe it's when I, st I really started looking inward, but it was not until my job sent me home to work um, from home that I had more time. I was yet working, but I had a little bit more of a freedom um, and so as things started to progress with the COVID situation, I really did some soul searching. You know, you realize you're in the middle of a pandemic, a global pandemic. You have to know that through this, God is saying something. You know, I don't believe that anything is happenstance. So I believe that this was happening for a purpose. And so... I uh, would get these daily devotionals. My sister, one of my sisters would send me these daily devotionals. And during this particular time that I was reading one of the devotions, I was sitting at the kitchen table and I actually was reading it to my husband. And as I read it, I broke down and just started crying because I, at that moment, I realized that I had drifted. In all honesty, I realized I had drifted. I was doing a work for God. I was writing these devotionals. I was ministering. I was working in children's ministry at my church. I had even been doing some outreach ministries. Um, but at that moment, I realized that I had drifted. My relationship with God was suffering I realized I had not been spending time with God. I had not been going before the Father and having intimate relationship with Him in prayer, in studying the Word, and just basking in His presence. And I broke down at that table in repentance because God was showing me that you're doing all of this, but you are not recognizing where your first love should be. And it's not in works, but it's an intimate relationship with the Father. And so as the months progressed and I was able to, like I said, um, be at home and actually first part of May, 
my job let me go. So then I had even that much more freedom and I just began to relish. And I remember hearing the spirit, just, you know, the Lord just telling me to stay in the spirit as much as possible. And I remember even before I had stopped working, I was uh, on the laptop doing work, but I just felt the tangible presence of God all day long. Then I heard the word shift and I heard the word shift. And even during this time, I started hearing this phrase over and over from for at least two or three months. I kept hearing what's old is new again. What's old is new again. I kept hearing what's old is new again. And, you know, as I began to really take time out in prayer, in worship, and then I uh, was able to connect with a ministry that really helped to hone, helped me to hone in on where my calling was, I had known for a long time that I would pray in secret uh, many times for different individuals. And I remember years ago when I had first got saved, there was a minister that visited the church that I got saved in. And the first thing he said to me was prayer warrior. He said prayer warrior. And then he said, a lot of people don't understand you. But God says, I understand you and I know all about you. I made you and I know all about you. Then I thought about a dream that I had had where I was on my knees. And in that dream, being on my knees, I had my hands outstretched, not upwards, but outwards, just outstretched. And I just remember uh, in the dream, it felt like electricity was just running through my body. I just felt the power of God running through my body. Then there was another dream where I went, these, these dreams were years ago. Then I had another dream where I was standing before people and I don't know what I was saying. Um, but I remember I could not stand up. I was buckled over because the power of God was so strong on me that I couldn't really stand up. Then I thought of another dream where I remember seeing, it seemed as if the, the, I was being lifted up. I was just being lifted up. And I just felt like I was just going up. And I remember as I woke up, I was speaking in tongues. And then there was a prophecy that went forth over my life. And the scripture given to me was John 15 and 16, where it said, you didn't choose me. I think it's John 15 and 16. Forgive me, God, if I'm wrong with that scripture. But I know it's in the book of John. I think it's chapter 15. But it says, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. Uh, and so it was prophesied that many would be healed, set free and delivered through me. And it was not necessarily through preaching. Well, here I am now connecting with the ministry, um, where I'm now being able to tap in, you know, I've already, God has already dealt with me on repentance. God has already dealt with me on, you know, lining back up, uh, uh, you know, in, in my relationship with him. And then I connect with this ministry, uh, Dr. Tawana Worlds and her ministry, taking it to the streets, uh, and just her ministering to me and then letting me know and confirming that, you know, the power that I have in intercessory. And, and so I just thank God for just this journey this year. And, you know, I've heard and I've even said that this has been the ultimate altar call when God, you know, allowed things to go uh, on pause. You know, when there was just a, a across the board pause and even now. So I feel as if it's it's God's way of saying, take time out and and and, and reevaluate. And for those who are outside of him to come now into him because there's opportunity now there's there's always opportunity because every day that he gives us new mercy but i feel like this was the ultimate altar call and so i'm asking you that are listening have you recognized are you working for god but yet out of relationship with him and not realize it because a lot of times we get caught up in doing the things of god and performing religious duties and doing things, but we're not spending time with the father. We're not spending time in intimate relationship with him so that he can speak to us. 
so that we can be built up in our spirit, man. We're just going about. And I remember, you know, many mornings jumping up, rushing, trying to get ready for work. And this has gone on for quite some time. Um, I remember even falling back into watching certain programs that I would, would that I would not have watched uh, before. And I had started watching certain things that was not edifying to my spirit. So a lot of times, you know, we can think that we're still in God, but really and truly, and he's covering us with his grace and mercy, but really and truly we've drifted, we've drifted off. And so this message is just to make you take a look and self-evaluate and, 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 and determine if you're still in that close relationship with the father. Or if you're just really doing works and just doing things to try to fill in and make it, you know, working for your salvation. And, and you may not realize you're doing it because while you're doing it, you're just thinking, I'm doing this for the Lord. But if you're not spending time in your word, if you're not spending time in prayer, if you're not spending time communing with him, I mean, we're talking about doing all of these works and then go before him. And he said, depart from me. I don't know you, um, you know, and God forbid, God forbid. So it's time to really look within and ask and do self-evaluation. It's good to do self-check. And this is the thing we can get off, off track and not realize that we've gotten off track because we're not doing those self-checks. We're not truly evaluating to see if we're still in the faith. You know, um, a lot of people think because they're in church all the time and they're doing works in church and they're giving offerings and paying tithes, that that's, that's it. And that's just not going to cut it. That's just not going to cut it because the times that we're in, we got to make sure we got to make our election sure and make sure that our anchor is gripping the solid rock and that we have a firm foundation and that we are walking in alignment with his will and purpose for our life, that we are in him, that we are uh, hiding the word of God in our hearts and that we're staying in a place of repentance and communing with the father and building up that spirit, man. So I wanted to share this with you all so that if there is anyone who may be uh, unsure, you know, self-check is always in order. Search yourself and ask God to show you because we can, you, you know, we can walk around here thinking we, the Bible says a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is death. Cause you can be around here walking, thinking that you're right in God and you're so out of the will of God and you're so far from him and not even realize it and thinking you're close to the fire just because you feel the spirit move on you every now and again or whatever have you. So this is the time God is still allowing. He's, he's his grace and mercy is extended to us. So if you need to rededicate your life, I would say do so like there's no tomorrow. If you are outside of Christ, if you've never given your life to Christ, you need to do so right away. Tomorrow is not promised to us. And so I would say to you, don't delay. The time is now. So Father God, I thank you. I thank you for being able to share this testimony with hopes that someone would gain something, that something was said that would be of benefit to someone, that when they hear this, that would make them uh, do that self-evaluation, to look inside and understand where they stand with you, and to correct the areas that are out of alignment with you. For those who don't know you, I pray, God, for eyes to be open, for the blinded eyes to be open, that your spirit... Uh, would dwell with them and those who would uh, seek after you would find you because you said that you would not withhold any good thing from us. And when we seek you, we find you. So I thank you now, Father, for being able to share this and that it would be uh, ministered to someone in some way. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.